So today I'm going to talk about custom renders, uh, React console renders, and how you can create your own React render. So before I start, I'd like to introduce myself a little bit. Um, my name is Rafael. As you can see, I am kind of crazy when the subject is Japan. And I love traveling, animation stuff, and uh, I mean, I want to say more things about Japan and jQuery, but actually I was already introduced, so. I am a software uh, developer engineer at GoDaddy, and I create this website just for this conference. It's like, just remember Ronaldo making Go against Germany. Yeah, I am Brazilian, so yeah. I mean, we have uh, open positions there, so if you want to work with us, uh, I don't know. Uh, contact me, or we can talk more about this. Uh, uh, we can talk more about it after this presentation. And every conference, people ask me. I don't have discounts for domain purchase. So yeah, I work at GoDaddy. I have a discount for me, but not for people. So every time I have to explain myself, it's like the worst. But I am from Rio. Uh, probably you guys already realized that because I'm not dressed well to Berlin. I know, uh, and I mean, I, I would like to apologize myself uh, before making any mistake. Here, talking English is not my main language, but you guys doesn't have how. I mean, the other how, Ori is speaking, so he's not a main, uh, native English speaker too. So you guys doesn't have to run away, okay? And. I love football. In GoDaddy, I have to say soccer. But if you are looking for a buddy to talk about soccer or football, I am this guy. I love to spend uh, day, uh, days, times talking about soccer, football. It's like my favorite developer discussion. You get it? For kids that talk? OK. I try it at least. Yeah, other thing about me is, is I am very bad about jokes, so you guys probably are realize that. So I'm going to talk today about elements, instance, components, reconciler, custom renders, and React reconciler. And I know everybody knows that. I just want to talk about this again. And but this is a React element. It's like you have a paragraph, you have a style object, and if you are translate that, I mean, you're parsing that, you have a create element, then you have a paragraph as for, uh, first argument, style as prop as second argument, and you, have, you probably have content or children as the third argument. So you also, have, uh, you also can have um, cause, uh, co React components as the the element, I mean, the, you can send as first argument, so. And elements that is a plain object, describes a component instance, is what you see on the screen. And component, uh, taking the opportunity, because Pokemon Let's Go was released this year, and I am a huge fan. Probably you guys are going to see too much about Pokemon in this talk. And, but here we have a class, Pokemon Trainer, which extends React component and have a render method. And it is a React component. Everyone knows that. I mean, we have a function too, Pokemon card, and have a use context because hooks is cool. If you are not using hooks, you are not a cool person. So, and there is component. It's a function or a class with a render method that extends React component. So. Instance, well, I guess everyone knows that, but it's like you have a class, you have a this, and <laughs> is what you refer to as this in the component class you write is it is useful for storing local state and reacting to lifecycle events. And the truth is, instance have much less importance in React because uh, most of objects you oriented. UI frameworks, uh, you have to manage the instance and React does that for you. So 
noise. We already get uh, the basic stuff about React. <coughs> so I'm going to talk about reconciliation. Uh, everyone knows about reconciliation. No, I was almost saying noise. So <laughs> nice. Uh, so React provides a, a declarative API that you doesn't have to worry about exactly what you're going to change it in every update. And reconciliation is responsible for doing that for you. It's like reconciliation is React diffing algorithm. It makes up components updates more predictable. And when a component state change, React has to calculate if it's necessary to update the instance. So I'm going to talk about some things in React and reconciliation stuff. It's like I have this Pokemon card inside div, and now I want to change div for span and Whatever the root elements have different types, React will, will tear down the old tree and build a new tree from scratch. Like you're, creating, you're t telling reconciliation that you, you want to rebuild everything. I mean, it's going to take your old tree and put it in the trash and build again. So now you have elements of the same type. I have a div uh, with a class name before and a title, noise. You guys probably realize that I like a lot this word. Americans, it's, I learned with Americans friend. And now I am just moving this class name to after. So by comparing these two elements, reconciler specifies what is going to cha be changed. In this case, I am focusing in React DOM and it knows how only to modify the class name on their underlying DOM node, so it's like we're responsible only for te tell the DOM, like I want to only change this class name so it removes the chart, I, I mean it changes, remove the class and then add the class after. So components, elements of the same type, it's like you, you have the same type here, you ha you're going to ABC to ABC but with a different content and instance stay the same, so the state is maintained across renders, so you doesn't have to <coughs> worry about it. It's like, and we are going to talk about Fiber Reconciler. Uh, you guys already watched this talk about from Linkalark. Yeah, it's amazing talk if you guys didn't watch it. Take some time to watch that. But probably after watch that talk, you have to ask yourself some things and you probably going to have keep your own phrase with you. A fiber represents a unit of work, but after I watched the talk and after I, I read some articles, I was like, dude, what is your talk about? The, the phrase is so simple, but in your mind, it's like, you're okay, I, I, I understand that. I mean, but it's, it's kind of deep because if you read the Andrew Clark, uh, read me, uh, if you read his document about fiber, he explains some uh, some terms about it. So reconciliation is how I read said. It's like is our algorithm uh, React used to diff one tree with another to determine determine which parts need to be changed, and update is a change in the da data used to render a React app. Usually. The result, the result of a set states eventually results in a re-render. So scheduling is the process of determining when the work you should be performed and work and is any computation that must be performed. So work is usually the result of an update, for example, set state. And if you going to try to dismissify that phrase, that phrase, I mean, it means that fiber represents a computation triggered by a, a data change. So this allows us to pause work and come back to it later, assign priority to different types of work, reuse uh, previous, previously completed work and abo abort work if it's no longer necessary or need. So now you know that, let's talk about the cool, cool stuff custom renders. So React renders understand React component driven architecture and it should provide such a declarative and composable abstraction as React. 
So it takes the same thing as React Native uh, tries to propag. I, I mean, React Native always said, uh, learn once, write anywhere. And you have a lot of amazing rend custom renders right now. You can render to PDF, you can render, you have the React Native DOM from Vicent. Vicent, don't know how to say exactly. You have a React TV that I made it, so. Well, I, I forget that I say that I, I make unusable things, so I kind of put React TV in the trash, so. And you have React in HV, you have React hardware, uh, React Blasted, I confess that is kind of my favorite one. And this GitHub is a link for get other React renders, is a list. And I don't know if you guys know the Blasted.js, Everyone here knows about Blast.js. Blast.js is like uh, a high-level terminal interface uh, API for Node.js, and someone created a uh, React Blasted, so you can actually create applications for terminal. I mean, you can create terminal apps using React. It's super cool, and you have also React hardware. It's like you can. Uh, React hardware enables you like to build uh, hardware applications uh, using constant developer uh, experience based on React. So you can keep the same thing you have, you have in React DOM. And now in this case, I just uh, setting the LED, like blinking the LED, and we have React PDFs, like super cool because you can render and creating PDFs files to browser or server. I don't know you guys, but after I discovered this whole world of custom renders, I was like this. I don't know if you guys are friends fan, I am. <laughs> so I was like, no way, I, I want you to do that. I want you to play with custom renders, I want you to learn. And how you can start, it's like, there's a, a package uh, maintained by F Facebook core team call it React Reconciler. He, it was released some time ago. Uh, I mean, uh, in React 15, uh, we used Stack for Re Stack Reconciler, and now we are using Fiber. And when React Core Team start to migrate to Fiber, they separated this, this package, which is responsible for our Reconciler in a different I mean, is published because React DOM was the responsible for for doing that for you. So uh, lately, I mean, I, I mean, two years ago, probably if you want to build some custom render, you have to import React DOM, and it doesn't make any sense because you're trying to build, I don't know, like React in HV as other handler, and you're importing React DOM. Why you need to know DOM? But it is, this API is not stable as React and React in HV or React DOM because it's not using the common version scheme, so you have to use that as your own risk. But I have a secret. Once it get working, never more update. No, just kidding. So, okay, let's build a custom render together. What is about music? Thanks to Ken Wheeler, I can be that original that I thought. Thank you if you are watching this, Sal Ken. So what do you want to build? I want to build mid. It's like I am a huge fan of mid and like I love those dun, 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 dun songs. And it's like I have this idea. I want to, I don't know, create a custom type, name it, call it song, which I have uh, beats per minute and and I want to create other custom type for node, which have, I don't know, note duration, ticks, and note number. And probably you are thinking right now, okay, but we probably have to know Web API. So in this talk, let's pretend, let's pretend that we are an expert in Web API and this code we done. I mean, this code is, is like doing everything that we want to. So create song, create a song, <laughs> create note, create a note, uh, create MIDI, create a MIDI. It's like just for 
forget this part. I mean, this is uh, my awesome web API library that I use it, so you can use the other web API that you want to. And first thing that we want to do, that we have to do, is create the custom types. So I'm setting as song as song, note as note, and we will create a reconciler stance using reconciler, which accepts a host config object. And host, oh, host config object is a oh, host config object is an object that you need to provide, and that describes uh, how to make uh, something happen in a host environment. So, for example, Canvas, DOM, console, uh, terminal, and what is your render target? So, in this object, we will define some methods which can be thought uh, of as lifecycle of a handler. So, update, append children, remove children, commit. So. There's a lot of methods that Rose config provides you, like create instance, append initial child, create text instance, finalize the initial child, children. But I'm not going to talk about this because I want to prove to you guys that it's super simple that you write something, I don't know, like this night, super drunk, going home. So I also want to challenge Ken Wheeler to remix this song it, it, in a song, like Eminem stuff, and use his sequencer for doing that. So I'm going to talk about just a few methods. So I'm going to skip mutation because I don't want to get so deep in about state and uh, GIFs and reconciler, but I'm going to talk about creating instance, append ch ch child, and supports mutation. So first thing that I want to do is create a class that represents our song. In this case, I, I have a construct, I have a class because I want to keep the same instance for our song. And it's simple. You have a render method that actually plays, and you have a add note, which adds notes to the class. I mean, yeah, to instance. And I want to create this function, which is create notes, so I can create notes as many I want to. So I have these ticks, numbers, duration, velocity, and still using the My Awesome Web API library. I mean, this name is super cool if you want guys want to use that for some library. And using this create note that I pass in this, uh, almost the same parents that props. So I just return the type of note and the value. So create this function, which is create custom, instan custom instance, which receives the type which can be song, note, or something that I doesn't have control. And I also receive props. And this list, the song, uh, I mean, the, this list are components. So you have song, we have create note. And if you doesn't have something, we just warn. This is just for yeah, you guys understand. But in Reconciler, I mean, this song Reconciler, when I use this create instance, like uh, I, let's say that I send I use in type as song, props, uh, empty object, root containing instance, like, I don't know, a div from root or any root target, host context, uh, internal instance handle, but doesn't doesn't matter about it. Don't, I mean, doesn't get to think too much about it. But I just want to create a console instance that represents my song or my note. So I can use that function to map what I am doing that. So in a pen initial child, I am just asking, this is a note. So if it's a note, please add in the parent instance, which is the song. I expect the people doing that. I mean, if it doesn't do that, probably not work the handler. So I add the note, I add the child value in the note in the song. And when I finalize the initial child, I ask if it, the class song have a render. You can do as other way. You can check if type is song. But in, the, in this case, I have one class in this project. It's like just a class song. And it's the only class that you have with a render method. And this works like this. It's like you have create instance, which creates the song. You have the append initial child, which is going 
a pen, many nodes there is, I don't know, you guys created, so it's a pen to the function, create node, so it's not, it's not ready yet. And in the finalized initial child, I transform every uh, create nodes in, into nodes, so we make music. And it's like, I'm going to actually talk about it. So I don't know if you guys like it, but I like it a lot. I don't know if it's working the audio here. It's a great song, guys. <laughs> oh, thank you. I made I made it like other thing too that you can reorder like the node because yeah the side two breaking the time that I'm presenting okay so okay and I mean I removed the Wi-Fi one sec just a little bit so I told you guys that I'm a, a real fan of Japanese song uh, of Japan. And I really like Jap uh, Japanese songs, and I made uh, from one of my favorite animes, Japanese animations, for you, Hakusho. I don't know if you guys know that. Yes, yeah, like this song's great. What I can do? And of the best move I read made it after. Probably you guys, I don't know, like probably some people know by Crazy Frog, but it's like from the Beverly Hills Cop, so I hate to explain that, so. But the code is super simple, I, I mean, oh, don't look at this code. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like I'm trying to hide something pretty ugly here. But the idea is super, like, that, take this case, for example, I have a node here, which is the, which, we build this together, like we, we just create a node and I am appending random notes for song, this other music, but it's not so cool, then I decide not to demo here. So the, have this, oh, have this, and I took the liberty to create other uh, custom type, custom element like MIDI, which receives basically 64, I was trying to train that because I am worse with English numbers. So it receives a 64 and basic 64 and you can also use array buffers. But I mean, the, the render is super simple. You can create by yourself for anything that you want to. It's like, I don't know. You can make that in less lines. So that's uh, back. Jeez, I have to go back for animation. And this concept is universal. You can build anything using components abstraction. Like is there is a, a whole sky that you can go and I don't know, create what you have in mind. Like give a try, give a shot for that. Like I uh, was working at a company last year and I was, tr I don't know, I was trying to get some speed up performance in uh, televisions, but like React don't do a lot of uh, cross cross browsers operations, and I was stuck with memoized things, and I removed everything. I create like the, this React TV stuff. It's like React don't with some improvements. It's like giving like 40 per 40 no 30 and a little bit percent of memory safe, but I totally give up of that project. And the next year, I'm going to work on this. Is like a hinder. I know probably you guys are asking yourself why is React Ape the name? The name is pretty lame, I guess. But <laughs> React Ape is because it's based on Netflix internal project called uh, React 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 Gibbon, which is other is also other monkey. So I took the the joke. Yeah, I told you guys are uh, very bad with jokes. So and. I want to do that, like I want to build UI with the, uh, the React Native. Uh, so I mean, I want to build the same UI that I have for cell phones, uh, for iPhone or Android. 
and I want you to do that for televisions, for PS4, uh, I don't know, like PS Vita, or I'm trying very hard in Nintendo Switch. But yeah, so these are some reference. And also, I bring stickers from React Shape. I know the project's not so famous right now, but at least you'll grab some stickers. <laughs> and that is it. Thank you. Peace. <laughs>